Hello folks, can you feel it? This coming Wednesday, February 1st, Samsung will hold the latest unpacked event and that means the company will unveil the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra. Just about all of the hardware specs have been leaked as has the pricing in the US, Europe and some other markets. Now, a couple of days before the official announcement of the Galaxy S23, One UI 5.1 features have leaked in full, revealing what Samsung's new One UI version will bring to the table. According to the One UI 5.1 changelog leaked by German publication WinFuture, One UI 5.1 will bring improved stock apps, family sharing albums in the gallery app, easy access to the expert rock hammer app, better AR emojis and AR zones, Samsung notes collaboration, improvements to multi-device controls and small improvements to Samsung DeX. Probably a new battery widget is what you're gonna like the most. During the keynote event, Samsung Samsung displayed various One UI 5.0 widgets on the screen. Among those widgets was a battery widget that hasn't been seen yet on Galaxy smartphones or tablets. As you can see, the widget displays the current battery charge level of the smartphone as well as the connected accessories, including those of the S Pen, smartwatch and wireless earbuds. There appear to be two versions of the widget, 4x1 and 4x2. Right now, if you want to check the battery level of your wireless earbuds or smartwatch, you need to open the Galaxy wearable app or use a separate separate widget associated with a particular set of earbuds. With the new battery widget though, you can check the battery charge levels of all the devices your phone is connected to at a single glance. A similar widget has existed on Apple's iOS and iPadOS platforms for a few years now and we're glad that Samsung is bringing it to One UI. Also, we like the ability to use a QR code to move over your Wi-Fi information from an older Galaxy phone to a new one. And with One UI 5.1, if you use the Samsung Internet app on your phone, any pages you open on the phone will appear on your PC browser. Now, you can also save screenshots and screen captures to a folder of your choice by setting it up in the advanced features. The complete One UI 5.1 changelog I posted in our Telegram channel, the link in the description. The One UI 5.1 update will eventually find its way to other handsets besides the Galaxy S23 series, including the Galaxy S22 series. However, one feature called AI restoration will reportedly be found only on the Galaxy S23 line. This sounds like it could be similar to the photo and blur feature for the Pixel 7 series. Photo and blur fixes old blurry photos in the Google Photos app even those that were taken using another camera. Now, it's no mystery which Android manufacturer is the best when it comes to software updates. Samsung promises 4 Android OS upgrades for flagship and some mid-range phones and 5 years of security updates for many devices. And when it updates 50 plus devices to Android 13 and One UI 5.0 in, in merely 2 months, the company company basically just told its competition that they have no chance to catch up. Granted, Chinese manufacturers like OnePlus have recently announced that their devices will get 400 OS updates, but none of them have anywhere near the number of devices as Samsung on the market, and yet take more time to release major new upgrades. Furthermore, OnePlus and others are only promising 4 OS upgrades to new devices, while Samsung has been pretty considerate every time it's raised the bar with software updates by including existing flagships and mid-range devices. And in 2023, it seems Samsung is determined to show how its passion for updates and getting them out to customers as quickly as possible is not going to waver anytime soon. It is expected that Samsung will debut the Galaxy S23 series with Android 13 based One UI 5.1 software on board. Going by the company's track record, the new software will be rolled out to previous generation high end phones first, then to tablets and mid range smartphones. Well, Samsung has now confirmed which phones will get the One UI 5.1 update first. Recently, Samsung released a new update to the Galaxy Watch 5's camera controller app to bring zoom functionality. The change log revealed that the feature only works on phones running One UI 5.1 and that the new feature works on phones released after Galaxy S20, Galaxy Z Flip and Galaxy Fold. The One UI 5.1 is compatible with the Galaxy S21 and newer Galaxy S series phones. The same would be true for Galaxy Flip, Galaxy Fold 2 and newer Galaxy Z series phones. Does that mean the One UI 5.1 update won't be released to the Galaxy S20 and Galaxy Note 20 series. Well, it isn't clear yet. A few days ago, a One UI 5.1 beta firmware was ported for the Galaxy S20 on Samsung servers. So, it is possible that the South Korean firm will release the update to those phones, but at a later stage. Still, we can't be sure until Samsung confirms something about it. Think about it. Samsung has already done a tremendous job with the One UI 5.0 and Android 13 update by releasing 
in it to so many Galaxy devices in a short span of time. And instead of taking a break or giving its software teams a break, the company has just turned its attention to One UI 5.1. Of course, it helps that the One UI 5.1 will be a considerably small update relative to One UI 5.0, but still, just the fact that Samsung has been going full throttle the last few months and refuses to pump the brakes anytime soon is downright impressive. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you agree with me. Also, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.